Hello, boys and girls. We're uh, back to when I feel like at a clock. And um, I, well, there's a big card now today, isn't there? I've had to get myself like extremely well lubed. Um, probably reached uh, lube percentages the highest I've ever seen. Um, I would recommend it, especially if you're going to do a big card like this. Jaime's Body Lube, it's the best there. I said it. Lots of it for this. You're going to need tons of lube. I'll wait. Okay, that should be uh, probably not enough time. Just keep on going though, we gotta get to this. Uh, uh, my picks are getting a lot better, but I'll tell you, these cards are tough. This is rough cards right now. Um, I was talking to Masseuse Melissa there uh, yesterday when she was massaging my uh, head because I had a headache from trying to do all this, uh, uh, do these picks, like the heavy meditation that I'm into right now even doesn't uh, doesn't prevent these picks from becoming uh, uh, very hard on the brain, you know, like in the, the Roma clocks aren't working. Uh, I've had Nutella baths, I've had everything, but this headache just won't go away. That I'm going to get about, you know, um, I'll probably get about double the massages today and tomorrow hopefully I'll be fine. But anyways, Mrs. Melissa was saying, Steve, um, you are, uh, you try so hard, but you're getting such low percentage of picks. Um, I, I feel for you, and I'm thinking about you daily. And uh, no, I thought that was pretty cool. That was all right. You, that was nice. So I, I've also been talking to the creator, and uh, the creator has, has made me feel a little better because he said, uh, basically, I, I wouldn't even have been able to get a very high percentage there. So And he's the creator, right? So creator of all things. He doesn't know. By the way, he's doing fine. Uh, uh, still having a little problems with his oldest, but besides that, he's doing really well. Okay, um, let's get to our picks. The Stars versus the Sabres. Uh, the uh, Sabres are playing much better, but they're, they've got Boyu out. I mean, they already have a thin defense. And, uh, oh, what's the other? Bogosian. I mean, really, Bogosian's a top four defenseman, but... Uh, but still, for the Sabres, any defenseman out is not good. So I got to take the Stars because the Stars are, like I've been saying, playing balls out. Playing really well with Hitchcock right now. I take uh, the Stars 3-2. Oh, by the way, I've had, I had these little ear things in because um, of my meditation. I forgot to take them out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Rangers versus the Avs. Um, I'm going to go, I, I thought about this back and forth, back and forth. Uh, Sh Shattenkirk's out. Um, the Avs have been playing, I wouldn't bet on this game for one thing. Um, the Avs are on a roll right now. Um, Avs 3-2. Uh, Devils versus Flyers. Um, I, saw the the I saw the Devils playing the Cavs, and uh, this team is freaking really riding good right now. Um, and the Flyers are just so inconsistent. They're going to have Neuverth in that. Neuverth had a good outing last time uh, playing against Toronto. And uh, I, I picked Toronto because Neuverth was in that. But he came he came through. But I still think um, the Devils are going to have Kincaid. I'm still taking the Devils 3-2. Uh, Jets versus the Flames. This is going to be a freaking phenomenal game. I'm going to be watching it for sure. I'm taking the Jets 4-3, but don't bet on this because, I mean, the Flames are playing awesome too. So Bruins versus the Canadians. I got to go with the Bruins 3-2, but let me tell you, Price is like, looks like he has said, I'm going to take this team to the playoffs. And uh, he's Price. If he's playing at the top of his game, he could freaking pretty much well, pretty well do that. If he happens to get the Canadians in the playoffs this year, I have to put him up into the Hashik levels of goaltender performances for sure. But can he do it? Probably. He's amazing. Um, Leafs versus the Sens. The Sens are out. Like They just have no gumption whatsoever. I'm taking the Leafs for two. Um, I, I should do a video here about what's going on and what's wrong with the Leafs. Um, but I'm, I'll, I'll, I might do that soon. Uh, Canes versus the Wings. Um, the Canes got Ahu out and Pesci out. And uh, the Wings play tough, hard 
hockey. Even though they don't have much talent, they will outwork you. And I think they will likely outwork them here. I'm taking the Wings 4-2. Uh, Pens versus the Sharks. Uh, big win against LA um, for the Pens. This is a tougher team. Um, I, I'm really on the fence about this game, honestly. I don't really know for sure. I'm taking the Pens 4-2, I think. I'm thinking maybe they're going to get on a roll after that win in L.A. Uh, Yotes versus the Blues. Um, I think the Yotes are a better team now. They're, I said they were going to play better, and they are. They're losing more one-goal games, but they're still getting outshot a lot. And if you're going to get outshot against the Blues, you're probably going to lose. I'm going to take the Blues 4-3. Uh, Panthers versus the Preds. Um, tough one. Panthers played, I can't remember who they just played, but I probably wouldn't have picked them to win. I ah, can't remember who it was, but it was a big win for them. Um, and the Preds are, in our, you know, Arvidsson and Johansson are out, but the Preds at home is so hard not to take. I'm going to take the Preds. Oh, I think they're putting Sateri in too, the Panthers are. And uh, I just, yeah, I got to take the Preds. I'm going to say... Uh, Low score, 3-2, two, 2-1, two, somewhere around there. Bolts versus the Wild. This is my surprise pick of the day. Uh, mostly, it's not really that much of a surprise. The Bolts are a much different team without Hedman in the lineup. And the Wild have that kind of depth, and they're playing so good for with Boudreaux right now. Dubnik is playing very, very well. I, I just think that their depth could win over here. I'm going to take the Wild 2-1. And the Nux versus the Oilers. Are they going to put Montoya in net? I think they should. And if they put Montoya in net, I'm going to take the Oilers. If Talbot's in net, my gut feeling is the Nucks are going to outwork this team. Uh, that's the problem. The Nucks are a are, are very hard-working team. And the Oilers have just lost their gumption. Um, if the Oilers would just skate, like, skate as fast as they can every game, they would win more than they do. But they don't. And uh, I don't know who you pegged that on, but uh, it's not looking good. So I'm not going to really pick on this one. Honestly, flip a coin. Um, I, I say if the Oilers have Montoya in that, they win. If they don't, the Nucks win. That's the best I'm going to give you there, boys and girls. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. That's all I have to give. Uh, make sure you're subscribing there, boys and girls. Uh, you get your free vat of Jaime's Body Loop helicoptered to your door or your backyard, or whatever you want, um, and uh, your Pearls of Wisdom necklace that everybody wants. And if you're looking for a Pearls of Wisdom necklace, um, uh, uh, that, or maybe you want another one, maybe you've subscribed already and you need another Pearl necklace, because, you know, you can't have enough Pearl necklaces, uh, you just go to any store. Uh, you can go to Keegan's, or you can go, you just go down to the restaurant down the street, like McDonald's, or whatever, and say, I would like a Pearl necklace, please. Uh, pearls of Wisdom and NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Probably spe specify which pearl, pearls, pearl necklace you want and they'll send you to the pearl necklace section and I'm sure you'll find one there. Have a great day. Lots of love to ya.